Volvo's traffic safety researchers are now working with the development of a unique warning system that both detects wild animals and automatically brakes if the driver doesn't react in time. The goal is to both prevent and reduce the seriousness of many accidents involving wild animals. In Sweden alone, 40,000 accidents involving wild animals occur every year. We hope that we will be able to avoid or mitigate many of the serious uh, collisions with animals that occur today. Right now the researchers are teaching the system what the different types of animals look like from different angles and in different situations in front of a car and how they react in such situations. Here in the zoological park it's all about collecting information relating to shape, size and movement. I think it's the large variation in the shape of, of different animals, but we are training the system on, on different sizes of animals and so on, and I'm, I'm confident that we will succeed in this. The technology involved is based on a very advanced collaboration between camera and radar techniques that Volvo has previously used to avoid accidents between pedestrians and motorists. The aim is that this technology should be able to detect and warn about the presence of different types of animals. Volvo is currently looking into different technologies for night detection. In this test, a system with infrared illumination is being evaluated. Uh, right now we are uh, developing the infrared illumination of the system to be able to detect animals at night. Uh, and since most animal collisions occur in darkness, it's extremely important to have night detection. Volvo Cars has a number of tests remaining before this technology is fully developed. But even so, anticipate having a fully functioning wild animal warning system in only a few years. A system capable of avoiding collisions with elk, deer and reindeer. The technology that will hopefully considerably reduce the number of accidents involving wild animals is of course also capable of detecting pedestrians in the dark. Which is another type of traffic safety problem.